What are you doing in my channel? Wait, hang on. We are in the 300s. Holy shit. I do remember getting this one, actually. Yes, this is right. But I don't think we've done anything to the outside. It's a nice, clean, uh, clean slate. I wonder... We can, we can dispose of that. We need to put a nice gate there. There we go. had plumbing for the sink. I don't remember actually putting plumbing in for a sink in a kitchen before. Radiators. I'm just going to go for those basic ass radiators. We worked out who's stealing all the radiators from the houses and it's Tim Ball. I, I saw him on Seven Days to Die. All he was doing was going around taking all the radiators out of the hotel buildings. So it's confirmed. It, it's all Tim Ball. What would we do with that room? Where are we losing? Ah, I see. That extends that. That bathroom gives it that little bit more room. Right, we'll keep doing the wall radiators first. Put that as close as we can to the door. Is that every room now that should have a radiator does? Looks like it. All right, now we'll do the Bathroom ones, or is it mounted towel rack? It's a towel rack radiator. It's funny, the Americans love their radiators in their houses. Their, um, their steam system, they have a boiler down in the basement. And, like, this is something that you don't see, we don't have. We don't have boilers and steam systems. Centralized heat. It makes sense to why they have towel warmers because if they're going to have a radiator in there for heat because they've got steam running through the whole house, it makes sense to space it out and have it as a towel rack so you can just hang your towels over each rail. What we should be doing is actually having a quick look at our buyers. Buyers. Um, this isn't going to suit the Johnson family. This would be suitable for him. He wants basically books. So this is ideal for him, which means technically he doesn't need a second bathroom, but hey, exactly just one bedroom is perfect. So we can have these guys fighting for it. He needs a separate office. There's no place for the documents and books. I only wanted one bathroom. Why does a single person? Exactly. But you want an ensuite. And then you don't want to have guests going through your bedroom to your ensuite, right? Right. But what are we going to do with the extra, extra space? I don't understand what I need this kitchen for. Oh, okay. Bit weird. This guy just wants a big house to rent to do house share. This guy wants two bathrooms, but he's only by himself. All right, so I think we're going to go with stylish furniture, one bedroom, one study with two bathrooms. Um... We are going to go and sell all these doors because they just look like garbage. I feel like we leave them because although they look sort of a bit grubby, I'm pretty sure that's the style. I don't think we can clean them. Super mop. We'll just keep scrubbing. I don't like that the toilet is right there by the door. Uh, that I am going to change. 
And we're going to push the sink. Oh, no, that's bathtub. Oh. So maybe we put the toilet here. It's a weird place to put a bathtub. I mean, looking at the size of the walls, it would have been, would have made more sense to put the sinks over here and the bathtub over here. You know what? I'm going to keep pressing F for flashlight because F in most other games is like, Had two sinks. I don't know if we need two sinks. Gets me every time. While we're here. We're going to have room to fit a toilet in the corner. Yeah, we're just going to go for it. What's the worst that can happen? King PP, what's going on, mate? It's actually a little bit quiet on my end. Let me... Uh... How's your day going today, King? Toilets. Um, apparently we can't fit that toilet in there. Damn it. But yeah, you could see, like if we put the bathtub there on this side where it was originally, what are we, one, two, three, four tiles out, one, two, three, four, that would have like walk in and like have to sidestep around it. Still waking up? Nice. And we're gonna get rid of that second sink. Yeah, I'm doing all right. Um, haven't really done much today. Been pretty pretty quiet here. Bit of housework this morning. Do a bit of tidying up. The usual fun stuff that you got to do. Installations for assembly. That way. I probably should have gone with something more that looked marble. I didn't even think of that. I just clicked by and Now there's no light in this room, so we definitely need to put a light. We've got a light switch, but no light. What's the difference? That one looks a little bit nicer. Ah, they need a mirror, of course. Nice. Right, we need a toilet roll holder. Is there an option of color? There's not. All right, so what is it with hotels? You go into the hotel and they've got like the toilet roll holder like down here and back here somewhere. You end up like pulling a muscle in your shoulder or your back just trying to get some toilet paper. Like, holy shit. Like, why can't they put them like in arm's reach? Like, is it that hard? No crouch there. Look at, I mean, that's 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 usable. You always find them like back here somewhere, or like on the wall back here, and you're like, you're not just taking the roll off the off the wall. Well, that's that bathroom sorted. Let's go and have a look at this other one. So we've got a sink, shower, and a toilet. Still no washer. Do we need a washer? We're going to use the same Dunny. 
because why not? Truck360, thank you very much for the follow. G'day, welcome into the stream and welcome to the Malice Militia also. Chilling out, listening to some Aussie, uh, Aussie classic rock today in preparation for Australia Day next week. Just getting into the vibe of it. Base, so there was different colours base, but it only changes it to wood, so. What's up? We're just doing a little bit of house flipping, and I always do this. I forget to unscrew these caps first, and then wonder why nothing will fit. They're yeah, just a chill out day. We normally play a bit of variety on this channel, a uh, little bit of survival, logic, building, and I guess a lot of that sort of fits in together in one. Mini? G'day, Mini. I'm just checking that that name, the spelling is actually Mini. Holy shit. Ladies and gentlemen, Mini is a uh, YouTube famous drummer. Like, on her way to a million subs on YouTube. Holy shit. What are you doing in my channel? Thank you so much. <laughs> Made my day. Not even joking. <laughs> like I'm, the, I'm expecting like the the I to be a one or something like that, like a troll troll account. G'day. <laughs> he even writes it in there. <laughs> oh, what a legend! What a legend! How's your day going? Chilling out. Have you dropped a new cover? I've, I've been on YouTube today. I haven't seen it yet. Is it on? Is it on Patreon? Just procrastinating getting out of bed. You woke up and you decided to check out my channel. <laughs> that is awesome. If you guys want to see some amazing drum covers, go and check out Minnie's channel. So the video I found you from was actually Smells Like Teen, Teen Spirit cover. Um, oh wow, the channel is goes back a long way. I didn't realize it went back that far. That's, you've been grinding for, for years. Well done. Um, I'm so distracted now. <laughs> a little bit, little bit nervous. A little bit distracted. This is just a nice little chill out game. Um, we normally play. I was just saying, we normally play a bit of um, survival type logic building games, and I guess this sort of falls into some of it, except for the survival. You just got to survive the jobs they give you in 2019 ish. It's a massive grind at the start. Like I've got a little shitty YouTube channel. I mainly do tutorials. Uh, I just like helping people out. Um, it, it's starting to take off a little bit. I put some videos up there and I get like almost zero views. And then I put other videos that I think wouldn't do well and I get like 10,000 views. It's, it's just crazy. Jake the Snake. G'day, how are you? I'm all about community building here. So <laughs> thank you so much for the follow mini. Thank you so much. Welcome officially to the stream and welcome to the Malice Militia. Um, what was I doing? Putting a sink in. So it's always good if you've got a community, you've got other people that sort of help keep things alive and keep it in check. Oh, I'm going to have to clean up now. God damn it. Who turned the water on? Not a girly girl. How are you? Welcome in. I was, uh, I was watching your other half today. Uh, Stream for uh, about an hour or two with his mic on mute. <laughs> Don't worry, I've done it before. Pro streamer moves. <laughs> the one that gets me is when you're playing a shooter game and you've got your headset on back to front and you hear footsteps to the, to the right and you, you turn left. <laughs> Mistakes have been made. I don't know why I'm crouching around the route, around the house. <laughs> our kitchen in here. I'm gonna go with a stylish kitchen here because let's go. And I'm probably gonna want to move that. I just realized more mistakes have been made. <laughs> let's throw the other half of the kitchen over here. I guess we've just got to place it down first and we'll put the corner in. I don't know if you're still here, Mini, but out of interest, what do you use for editing? Are you a uh, Premiere Pro, or you're an Apple person, so you're probably using probably using some Apple Apple application. 
think that's the one that's going to match. We'll soon find out. Yeah, it is. Winning. Uh, why would you put it in the wall like that? That's just stupid. There we go. Why is it even possible to clip items? Nice. Final cut. <laughs> that 30 second delay. Well, here in Australia, it's more like a minute 30 delay with our potato internet. Get on, get on it, mate. It's, uh, it's nice and relaxing. It's chill. It's a little bit different. Like normally I'm playing zombie survival games and like you're staring intently at the screen because you're worried you're going to die. I like this because I can just sit here and I can not do anything for a minute and just sit here and read chat and, and respond without without worrying about dying. There's no time limits. There's no AI. There's no PvP. There's there's no there's nothing. It's, it's your creativity. You sit there and do what you want to do. I just realized I bought the world's most fucking expensive kitchen. <laughs> uh, why not? Because you can, right? Um, we need to put in living room furniture. As we said, we're sort of aiming this at one of the... Uh, there's a couple of snob buyers that want fancy furniture, so... The other ones, we've all sort of gone for budget builds. We want to make some good coin off of this one. Although we're not spending the highest amount of money to waste money, but... Upholstery. What is that? What is that design? Well, this is going to go for the weird design, because why not? The good thing is they don't care about colours. You can do things any colour. You can have the most off colours and they lap it up. Fireplace probably isn't in the best, best area, but why not? We'll put the TV cabinet over there and... Come under shelves, is it? So I don't have a lot of the DLCs for this. I've just got the um, gardening and then the two standard ones that you get with it they give you nowadays. Um, I'm sort of half tempted to get the the uh, luxury DLC just for that just for that extra uh, extra flair. But it also looks like it's a little overwhelming, and until I'm through a lot of the houses. I don't think I want to go down that path. I think it's just going to make me, it's going to give me anxiety. Too many options, too many choices. I'm, I'm making way too much of a decision on this TV cabinet. Like I think there's only one that's going to suit this style and I'm, it's not going to fit. That's what she said. All right, well. Um, sure. We're going to leave room for the cords, right? I should have gone with a wall mount TV to be fair, but electrical entertainment. Let's get a TV. It's funny. There's like two options for TVs, but like 70 options for computers. Wall mounted or a TV. Otherwise there's monitors, there's PCs, laptops. You can tell this is a game made for gamers because I mean, this would be an essential thing, like, nobody has TVs anymore. All right, we got our, uh, Widget Aora, how are you? Good stream today, Widget. Like I say, I'm, I'm not big into, into World of Warcraft, but um, I'll sit there and watch you play it. I haven't done a lot to be honest. Um, did a whole heap of work, a bit of housework. Um, empty and refill the dishwasher and empty and refill the dishwasher. Did some washing. Did some did some tidying up in the kitchen. If 
front doors. There's not a lot of options with front doors, so front doors are just, you get these basic doors like Christmas door. That's a front door. Why doesn't it call it a front door? Front door with knocker. Let's, unless it's just that door is broken. Ah, no, no, it's not the door that's broken. It's the streamer. Hey, there we go. Much better. All right, interior doors. Let's go. Um, basic doors. But we're going for greys because we've made the house nice and nice and plain Jane grey. supposed to put in the pit like hello is there like a safe you can put in there let's have a look let's let's do a search does anyone know what goes in there there is a safe but it won't it won't go in there what am I supposed to do? Turn that into a fire pit and we'll all sit around in there and we'll make that a sauna and just throw a handful of water on it every now and again? Like, no! Um, can we put flooring over it maybe? Surely, surely not. <laughs> surely not. Uh, floor tiles. Um, let's go with something I've never used before. I don't think I've ever used any of these top ones because you never go with the first ones available. You're always like, that's just concrete, natural stone. What do I do with the money pit? Who has a hole in the floor like that? It's like there was a cellar and they're now hiding the bodies. Like, there's nothing down there, nothing to see at all. Just, just a random pit. You covered it with a rug, but then again, uh, forever ago. Yep, gotcha. Gotcha. I don't know why I'm still just looking at this, because uh, it's no bathroom fixtures. Ah, here we go, sauna. I believe that there was a particular light that you're supposed to use in in the sauna, but I can't see it there. So like, there's a there's a job where you have to do a put a sauna in, um, but I can't seem to see it. So we're just gonna we're just gonna do that and then uh, all right. Widget, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing exactly as you said. We're going to put a rug in here just to cover it up, which would not be a good thing. I wouldn't want a rug in my, uh, in my sauna. Is 
there. Nice. No one will know. How will they know? No one's going to know. All right. I, I, I feel like I would just want to get the paintbrush out and paint things just... Wait. Aha. So... Why did I crouch? That, that's that's weird. Uh, we need to put some wall paneling, pa paneling, paneling in here. We're just going to go with the typical, uh, typical standard wooden wall panels, which I think is going to be that first one at the top. What do we go? Oh yeah, here we go. It, it's not a sauna without wooden paneling, right? It, it's probably going to need a third, but uh, well, let's go. Not really exciting wooden paneling, but I don't know. I, I feel like I'd be letting down sauna owners all over the world if we didn't use wooden paneling. Before we sell it, I didn't miss any spots, did I? Nope. Uh, we have a room done. We got our master here by the looks of it, and that's going to be the study. Yeah, let's go. Fancy, fancy, fancy. We're going to be fancy pants. Beds. Did my, did my camera drop out? My camera's going to sleep. Give me a sec. There we go. We're back. I don't know how long ago that died. Hopefully not too long ago. I just looked up and I was in deep thought looking at the screen, which looked really awkward anyway. We're leaving that as it is. I'm not going to bother changing the colors. I always get too carried away with these and it just takes way too much time. Um, do we use that as a desk? I don't know. Yeah, let's sell it. Or workbench. Nobody, nobody said it's made out of wood. It's, that's a steel workbench right there. Confirmed. Um, all right, office. ready for, for painting now um, just do a last check over we got no light in here so let's go some lighting Smoke alarm, really? Um, I'm going to go with two of these. We'll delete that one. Uh, 
Um, and now I'm thinking, I'm thinking because we need more cupboards. We need uh, they love they froth on on bookshelves and cupboards. Um, Look at that. Look at him. Look at him frothing over it. Uh, shelves. What? Ah, there you go. That's better. I was going to say. Um, so I'm going to do it this way. So we got that initial spacing. Beautiful. Um, can't give them too much though. Timbo, what's going on, mate? How are you? Welcome on in. I ended up going to bed last night just before the uh, seven day event started, so. Sorry. Um, I think we're done here. We just need to paint now. Um, then we need to look at the outside walls. I'm wondering, do I have wallpaper inside the window sills? I'm going to let you guys decide that one. Like I've got a wallpaper along the top, but do I do wallpaper in these sections in here or do I paint that white? Not that it matters, like honestly, the buyers don't care about that sort of stuff. Um, as long as you've got paint on all the walls, you've got furniture, you've got all the fittings and everything that was broken in the house has been fixed, that's what they look for. The big one is the garden, if you've got the garden DLC. It actually makes me wonder, does that mean you get extra money in the game just by having the garden DLC? Because you spend money on the garden, you might spend say $5,000 on doing up the garden, if that. And you can add twenty thousand dollars value to your property. So, how would you normally make up that deficit if you didn't have the garden DLC? Looking for some colours. We've got to paint two. Uh, we've got to paint the bedroom and the office. If anyone's got any suggestions for colors for the bedroom and for the office, I am open. The thing is, is the colors of the paint really don't matter to the buyer. So I'm happy to go with whatever, uh, whatever you guys think. Mauve. Okay. That's a color I've heard used a lot lately. Must be a trending color. Can colors trend? Or are they just in season? I need to section this off as a separate dining room to a separate family room. So before we go too crazy, I'm glad I thought of this now. It's the way the logic in this game works. There we go. Which means we'll we'll move that cupboard over, I think. Just like that, and th th we can actually leave the cupboard there then. Wonder if it gets the benefits of the shelving in both rooms like that. Meh. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad we did think of this then, and having said that now, I'm thinking I should put the panelling. Or do we, do we get rid of that panelling and go wallpaper all around? I don't know. Uh, 
Um, all right, here's the here's the question. Do we go purple? Does that look too broken? Because that's purple there. That makes sense that that's purple. And then we paint the inside here white. Or do we follow that up with the color that we paint in here? Kitchen, dining, it's just room. And it decided that it's a any particular room, it's just room. Okay. I know why. Of course, of course. It always triggers me when they don't line up. Okay, yeah. That's better. Um, it still just calls this a room, but it now knows this is a corridor, which is good. Hasn't quite decided that this is a family room. So maybe we need to put something else family related in there. Um, yeah, I'm going to get more of these panels. Um, gee, what am I going to put my points into? So painting's fully done, cleaning, a handyman. Uh, we need a little bit more in demolition and not a lot more. We just need to destroy a few walls. Uh, we need a, little, oh, a lot in building there to get that next one. Um, one, two... with that I'm gonna leave that feature wood panel I don't know it's a little bit crazy with all the features in here but let's just go with it um, hey yeah uh, put that down we're gonna sell that that's 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 money right there um, but we're not gonna sell it just yet we're gonna wait until we've finished in here uh, paints 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 walls Paint, uh, is there a mauve hot brick? That's pretty close. And if we paint it that color, we're painting it widgets color. So that, that, that looks like a winner. I'm happy with that. What do you reckon, widget? The, uh, the, 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 the Raspberry Widget Aurora. with that we're gonna leave that as it is I might paint the garage um, I sort of like green in here like that's a shitty green we're not gonna go with that but um, wall panels they're nice uh, wallpaper
So again, it just calls this a room. It doesn't actually have it listed as an office, which is a little bit unusual. And so we've got a laptop, a desk, a chair, filing cabinets and storage. Um, all right, now we've got to look at a color for the hallway and a color for the kitchen. And we're done. Widget, thank you so much for the idea of putting a rug down that little floor pit would have triggered me for, for days. Um, all right. Paint. Oh yeah, let's 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 go. Because we've got a dark purple, uh, got a light purple there. I bought way too much paint and then just realised. Oh look at that! It's like grimace purple. I think I just go white. Uh, yeah, because that doesn't really cross over any other other uh, any of the other walls. And it's a nice contrast to break up that dark purple to bring it into something more more light and elegant in the uh, kitchen. It's a really wide hallway. I feel like I could put something in there, some decorations or something. Morning yellow. Let's go, morning yellow. So I said before I'm in two mines and I am I'm I'm gonna leave that purple but we're going white here um, we're going white here Let's go with that. I'm, I'm much happier with that. I think that looks a lot nicer. Um, I didn't end up putting a light in here, did I? That's right. Um, I want down lights, ceiling lights. Let's filter that way. Not really the sort of lights I was thinking. That's more what we're going for. There's no light switch in here. It's going to be difficult to turn the lights on, isn't it? Uh, light switches. What about in here? No light switch in here either. Light switch in here. Who stole all the light switches in this house, really? I don't need a light in here. There's a light switch in here, but I'm guessing that's the light. Our light switch is there, good. Oh, 
Oh. That was the light switch for there. We got no lighting down the hallway though. Um, it looks ugly. And it was looking at me funny. Hey, look at that. Beautiful. Nice. Now it still just thinks this is a room. So, um, furniture, living room. What else can we put in here? A table. Yeah, of course. Need a coffee table. Where else are we going to put our coffee? Coffee doesn't just levitate. Coffee requires. Living room. Now it knows it's a living room. Okay, good. Dining room, kitchen, room. Okay. What else can we put in here that is a office related? We got an armchair, we got a desk. We got plenty of storage. Like, I'm not quite sure what else they want. Um, we've even got a desk lamp. A desk with a desk lamp, and they don't understand that it's it's an office. What else can we put in an office? Let's go to our electrical cabinet and hanging shelves. There we go. He's happy with that. We're going to put some storage on there now. Uh, storage. Home library. Yeah, that works. Still keep going to that. Uh, we're committing, we're getting rid of the paint. The paint's gone. Um, we will paint in here. I probably should have just kept the, uh, the white paint and used that. Um, Pretty much done with the interior now. We'll finish painting in here and then we'll have a look at the garden. Um, we'll have a look at the uh, requirements for the different garden competitions so we can try and get the boost the, the value of this house. We'll give it a test auction first as it is just to see what sort of money we get for it right now. See how much it's gone up in value since we bought it. Painted, painted, painted. We're looking good. Yeah, okay. No light in there. Let's put a light in there. I don't think I actually need a light in here, but I don't know. Um, what am I doing? Lights. Ceiling lamp. Just want a basic ass light for in here. I didn't realize there was fans. I've never actually put fans in anywhere in this in this uh, in this game. So we're just going to go with that basic. I think that's the only style gate you can get. Can I put a little hedge in there? But
That works. So we've got a swimming pool out the back, which tells me... Can I get that out? Is that... We've got a nice little rock garden. I'm feeling we go for like the American or the modern garden competition. Um, sell the house, submit to a garden contest. So the American is all about practical, um, easy to maintain. Uh, the front is the owner's showcase filled with many low profile evergreen plants. The back serves as a place for relaxing, usually features a patio or a gazebo. Uh, as well as barbecue spot, swimming pool, sun chairs by the side. Okay. Um, so let's let's do something at the back here. Uh, I'm feeling barbecue area over here, gazebo right here, sun deck, and maybe a table and chair set up here. So let's go with that. Structures, uh, gazebos. Um, Gazebos, structures, barbecue. Beautiful uh, furniture. Table. Alright, that looks beautiful. Apart from that one's not quite under the cover. That's better. Oh, the placement here is going to trigger me. It's alright, they're under the cover now. They're getting some shade. Uh, maybe we put an umbrella? And then the front, they said, has to be the showcase of evergreen plants. One palm there. Another palm there. Actually, can we switch this up and go with the other palm? Oh, okay. Smaller one for the corner. That's better. Then we'll go back with the big one. Yeah, looks good. Plenty of palms. Nice. Plus thirty five per cent. Let's go. Oh. Uh, so they didn't like the plant selection, equipment, the layout, they thought was brilliant. So I could have gone with better plants apparently. I don't know what Americans like for plants. Um, put on the auction. Paid 107. Oh, here we go. Keep going. Where's pink hair guy? Oh. <gasps> Mm. 
Why did you buy it? We got an old mate that wants a sauna and a one bedroom. And, and where was he? He's, he broke. <laughs> he wanted it for 133000 There's no place where we can spend time with the whole family. $108,000 profit. Yo. <laughs> Uh, I'm not even going to negotiate. I'm just going to accept 100, 108,000 margin is sensational. We're, we're well into the 200s, nearly pushing up to the 300s now. Wait, hang on. We are in the 300s. Holy shit. <laughs> 